Assembled here is a seldom told story. Until recently, it was not a story that had been completely gathered. This is a collection of many personal, documented, and archived accounts of a series of random events that aligned to create an industrial phenomenon in Central Virginia. This documentary began nearly a century ago and spans a half a dozen states and six time zones. What do people think of when they think of Lynchburg, Virginia? The first few things that come to mind are the Blue Ridge Mountains, the Civil War, Thomas Jefferson, and the Falwell legacy of Thomas Road Baptist Church and Liberty University. However, times are changing. Over the last 50 years, the greater Lynchburg metropolis has grown by more than 50%. The area has seen a tremendous influx of industry and manufacturing to complement the growing graduate student population. In the process, Lynchburg has added conveyor manufacturing to its resume. In fact, there is such a high concentration of premier manufacturers and distributors of conveyor in the city and surrounding communities, the soft drink and beverage industry has affectionately dubbed the humble town of Lynchburg, Virginia, the unofficial conveyor capital of the world. These companies basically supply varying levels of automation and material handling for a wide variety of products in the world of food, beverage, and other consumables. Although it may seem hard to imagine, there are within a 10 mile radius, literally dozens of conveyor and related system machinery manufacturers in central Virginia that can all be traced back to the same series of events. But how did so many find their way to the modest central Virginia city of Lynchburg? And what caused this industry to grow into the ubiquitous mainstay of manufacturing plants around the region? It's not a stretch to say that our story's evolution began in 1937 when two young New Yorkers, Bob Englander and Erwin Friedberg, first met. Both of these future entrepreneurs went on to study at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Englander and Friedberg's paths crossed during their freshman year in college. Both were fraternity brothers and members of the first year crew squad on the rowing team. The boys went on to graduate a few short years later, Englander with a degree in business and Friedberg in civil engineering. Following their graduation from college in 1939, the friends went in different directions, although fate would soon be sending them to very similar destinations. Englander served his country during World War II as a pilot for the U.S. Navy, earning the rank of lieutenant. Friedberg also went on to serve as a pilot in the Army Air Corps. But this would not be the last time these two hard chargers would team up. Their chance encounter as members of the now disbanded Phi Beta Delta fraternity at MIT would go on to change the landscape of the soft drink and beverage industry and the history of Lynchburg, Virginia forever. Following the war in 1946, Englander went to work for his father's company, Golden Fleece Mills, which was a global producer of facial tissue based in Beckett, Massachusetts. This was Englander's first exposure to conveyor, an article from the Berkshire Evening Eagle in December of 1946 comments that the Golden Fleece factory that Englander managed for his father had more conveyor than you can keep track of. The article goes on to say these conveyors were part of a new concept of the electrification of mills. In 
In those days, a mill was literally a mill, powered by water wheels. Englander's involvement in the industry predates the electric conveyor. Friedberg followed in his father's footsteps in the family business of garment manufacturing. In 1948, the Appomattox Garment Company in Appomattox, Virginia was founded. Bob Englander and Erwin Friedberg had reconnected and were embarking on a joint business venture in the garment industry. How the location was chosen is still a mystery. What we do know is that the Friedberg brand was spreading to locations all over the eastern seaboard. Friedberg asked Englander to come on board initially in an engineering capacity. By 1951, documents show that Friedberg and Englander were co-owners of the company, each owning a 50% stake. There came a time around 1959 when Englander and Friedberg decided to part ways. This would prove to be a fateful decision for the future of Conveyor in Central Virginia. Research shows that by 1960, Englander had moved on and was now the president of Gary Steele. By the mid-1960s, Englander had taken yet another position with the Daycam Corporation in Madison Heights, Virginia. Daycam was a company that specialized in package handling equipment. Englander was frustrated with the state of the conveyor world at the time. Conveyor was sold as a catalog item. It was up to the end user to decide what they needed and how to apply it. A miscalculation or an error in ordering due to lack of experience would cause the customer a great deal of time and money. Englander had a vision of forming a team of experts in the field to custom design, fabricate, and guide the client to the best possible result. A few years went by and at some point Englander was approached by an old friend with an issue his company was having regarding existing material handling techniques. This old friend was Peter Stroh of the Stroh Brewing Dynasty. This prompted Englander to partner with a few of his former Daycam co-workers to begin building custom conveyor solutions in the basement of his home. The relationship between Englander and Stroh kick-started the evolution of the conveyor industry in Lynchburg. Soon thereafter, the conveyor industry in Lynchburg, Virginia was born. Simplomatic Engineering Company, commonly referred to as SECO, began operations on December 30, 1965 on Wards Ferry Road in Lynchburg, Virginia as a business that specialized in the custom design and manufacturing of conveyor and related systems for the bottling industry. From the late 1960s through the mid-1980s, SECO grew from a handful of employees in the Wards Ferry Road facility to over a thousand employees and multiple locations in the United States and points abroad. The Carling Brewing Company and Stroh's Breweries were among the first to adopt SECO's conveyor solutions. The success of the company attracted talent like Adam Vanosky, who played a significant role in solving technical issues and eventually becoming vice president. The growth of SECO also led to the emergence of other businesses in the conveyor industry in Lynchburg forming a network of manufacturers and suppliers. However, as the company expanded, internal conflicts arose, leading to changes in leadership and ownership. Bob Englander sold Seco to an English-based company, Metalbox, in 1980. Despite various challenges, Seco and the conveyor industry continued to thrive in Lynchburg.
While the Simplomatic story was unfolding, another significant chapter in the conveyor legacy was being written. In August of 1980, Sentry Equipment was incorporated as a mechanical installation service founded by Adam and Carol Vanosky and former colleagues from SECO. The company's focus was initially on mechanical installation, but soon the need for conveyor manufacturing emerged. Sentry Equipment's expansion led to the construction of a new facility in 1993, reflecting the company's growth and success. Through the years, Sentry Equipment's dedication to quality and innovation attracted talented individuals, diversifying its product offering and expanding its client base. In 2010, the employees of Sentry Equipment became the sole owners of the company through the ESOP program. Today, Sentry Equipment continues the legacy set forth by Bob Englander and his chance encounter with Erwin Friedberg, leading the industry in conveyor solutions and serving as a prime example of Lynchburg's industrial phenomenon. The story of Lynchburg, Virginia is more than the history of a picturesque city in the Blue Ridge Mountains. It is a tale of how the chance meeting of two young men at a college in Massachusetts set in motion a chain of events that shaped an entire industry in central Virginia. From Simplomatic Engineering Company to Sentry Equipment and a host of supporting businesses who can trace their roots back to the same origin, each with their own evolution. This is our story. Lynchburg's conveyor legacy lives on, a testament to the power of vision, determination, and innovation. And so, the conveyor capital thrives, forever intertwined with the fabric of Lynchburg's past, present, and future. The evolution continues, driven by the passion of those who dare to dream and make their mark on the world. <laughs>